Hi, I'm Dixon Kahulo. I'm the founder of Oxfam AJ Limited and we are specialists in propagation of fruity seedlings. And did you know one factor that a lifespan of an apple is more than 80 years? This is my story. I want to give you a picture of where I started. Uh, I started as a Agekoba person, where I used to trade some clothes, where I used to sell in Elodolet and also in Nyeri Street, in Campus Day at Moi University. That journey, as I started, gave me a lot of exposure in the business world. And in that business, I got introduction to Tree Tomato from a friend. Uh, when I, I was exposed by, by that friend on how the tree tomato gives you money, it was a very interesting thing. So that is where I ventured in agribusiness. The reason why I chose to start the production of tree tomato is because it offered an opportunity uh, where the market was unexploited. The market, the demand was there. Uh, the, tea, the tea tomato took shorter time to grow. And because as I was in lunch of getting uh, income as soon as once I invested, it was uh, an avenue that was easy for me to venture into. When I was starting the production of the, the tea tomato and also other seedlings, the market condition for uptake of fruit tree seedlings was not that well uh, because uh, most of the farmers were relying on other uh, sources of income like daily animals and also venturing into other horticultural crops. But now because of uh, the, the, the sustainability of the project, uh, most of the farmers are now eventually into to the fruit farming because it is, it is something that is uh, showing a good trade of even uh, the future. Uh, plus also now the issue of um, the export, people, more people are going to export their fruits that the, the most issue that is bringing more demand of the fruit from Kenya so that uh, we can be able to export. In local market, um, the demand of the avocado, tea tomato and the passion fruits is very high. And that, that is a, the, most of the product that we do sell uh, in our nurseries. Uh, this also has been contributed because for export part of it, the demand of has avocado is it's growing each and every day uh, as people continue becoming more fruit conscious in terms of consumption. In terms of the fruit seeding that we do have, uh, we have the indigenous one, inclusive of has avocado, mangoes, oranges, the pomegranate part of it, and also we have exotic uh, ones, uh, mostly not grown mostly in Kenya, but uh, they are coming like kiwi. We have the dragon fruit, all those, these, the, and many others. We do have a range of uh, 27 uh, different variety of the seedling. The, the price ranges between 100 to 200, but some, because of the, their big size, ranges uh, go at to a higher of 1,000 seed per seedling. These are seedlings that you can always visit our branches to learn. You meet our agronomists. Uh, here in Nairobi, we are at Ridgeways. We also have other branches like Nyeli, Nakuru and Erodolet where once you visit us you get to learn all about those food seedings and many others. The, the issue of uh, farmers feeling that has avocado might come up to be something like quail, I don't believe in that statement because um, the demand for has is international. The, the trade of has avocado is international, it's global. So uh, for the quill part of it, uh, it was just trading here in Kenya and most the demand was not very low, it was not low. But the demand of has is something that is low, it is something that has been here. For, for example, there are countries like Mexico and also Peru, they have been global leaders in production of has over candle. And there is no a time that uh, the demand has uh, declined. There's always a percentage increase per year for, for the year end. The demand of fruit has been growing each and every time. We are hoping also to, uh, to fetch 
more uh, from country, the, the opening up of countries like China uh, that uh, the, we are seeing a very good trend that uh, we might get a very uh, good demand from them. The entry point uh, when you want to venture into fruit tree production uh, from maybe seedlings or even growing the fruit itself. One, you need for a, a, a good advice, uh, depending also with the religion that we are treated because different type of fruit seedlings uh, do well in various areas. Like, uh, for example, if you are in central region, has passion, uh, tree tomato, all those do well. But something like mangoes and um, oranges might not do very well. Uh, when you come to areas like uh, the lower eastern part of it, uh, mangoes, oranges, uh, the pomegranate, they do quite well. So your region, that is where most matters in terms of what you produce, uh, in terms of fruits. Most of these seedlings, uh, or the fruits themselves, they stay for a very long time. Uh, like for us, our candle, we have seen uh, some of the trees that were planted in 1970 and they still produce that. And um, uh, until now. So the, the issue of uh, longevity of production on these seedlings, that is what mostly uh, interesting in uh, the fruit part, part of it. Getting in today's agribusiness, it is not something that is very easy. Uh, one thing is uh, the, the part of uh, producing the seedlings to, to a level that uh, the market desires you need a lot of capital for you to produce uh, the number that is needed. Um, that is some uh, a challenge that we have tried to uh, to see how we can maneuver, uh, borrowing from banks, uh, support from friends and also investors. And that is something that uh, also we are trying to continue uh, seeing how it is possible. The other part is also in terms of getting the expertise. Uh, in Kenya mostly because of lack of enough uh, specialist in fruit production. We have to train our, our own from online courses. Uh, the managers that we, we entrust in production, uh, the agronomists that we entrust in going to the field for advice to farmers, that is also another challenge that we, we have tried to cope. But uh, with the, the, the support from learning from courses online and all that, uh, we can see that now we have an expertise in this production part. Despite the challenges that we have had and um, we have seen a tremendous growth uh, where currently we have employed uh, the company, they have employed the 22 uh, personnel uh, with also permanent ones. We also allege of between 10 to 20 at a time because uh, at times we have peaks production uh, we also do the agri tours part of it, where we go visit the farmers who have become successful in one way or the other, either from our own uh, initiative or from the, the years. Uh, this is where we, once we go to your farm, you come and teach the, the budding farmers. And uh, all this, we do it uh, under one company, the Oxfam AG Limited. We do have agronomists, mostly, the important department in our Oxfam deep, uh, part of it. Uh, these are the four guys who are, we entrust to go to visit the farmers in their field. Uh, they come with a report from soil analysis, uh, from the management uh, advice they have given the farmer, uh, and also even in terms of market leakages uh, for the produce that uh, they have in, the market, in their farms, and also what we will say to them. Going forward, uh, the, the, the part that we want to, uh, to really venture into is once we give a customer the service of the seedlings, the growing the seedlings, we also want to pick the fruit uh, that he or she has grown and export it. That is something that uh, we are hoping to accomplish very near future. Currently, we are only exporting the seedlings uh, uh, from our end. Uh, we have exported some seedlings uh, from Ni to Nigeria, uh, other to Sierra Leone, South Africa, and we are also continuing to venture into other markets to see uh, if the business will be sustainable. So that is our most uh, focus as we, we, we continue satisfying the market here in Kenya. At Oxfam, through fruit tree farming, 
we actually believe money grows on trees. We are curious to know what your story, what are you planting this season? Share your story.